Hello everyone, myself Chitra, working as a standing professor at MRAD Engineering College. And today I want to tell a small introduction about recurrence relations in discrete mathematics. Okay, uh, first of all, we see what is a recurrence relation. So, what is a recurrence relation? If we're having one sequence in, an equation that expresses a n in terms of one or more previous terms of the sequence, uh, namely a naught, a one, and so on, a n and minus one, is called a recurrence relation. And this is true for all positive integers and greater than or equal to n naught. Okay, this is what a uh, recurrence relation. If you see one example for a recurrence relation, I'm taking one uh, sequence, which is a well-known uh, sequence, Fibonacci sequence. What is that Fibonacci sequence? Uh, the terms in that Fibonacci sequence are like this, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. Okay, and how we are getting uh, these terms in this sequence? If we observe this three and there's an addition of means uh, what is the term it is? One, two, three, four, fifth term. This fifth term is an addition of is the third and fourth terms, means one plus two, it is three. If we take a sixth term, which is five, it is an addition of two and three. Means how we are getting terms in this uh, Fibonacci sequence. If you take one particular term, it is an addition of previous two terms. That's why, in general, I can write the a n term as a sum of previous two terms. Means a n is an n term, the addition of n minus one term and n minus two. Okay, and this is true for all positive integers and greater than or equal to 2. With the initial conditions we take, a0 is equal to 0 and a1 is equal to 1. Means here we return one sequence as recurrence relation. Okay, that, uh, that is only what I defined here, recurrence relation. How we define now? Just a uh, if you're having one sequence expressing that uh, a in term in that sequence using previous terms, okay? Well, next, you see that. What is the order of a recurrence relation? Order of recurrence relation is the difference between the highest and lowest subscripts in the recurrence relation. Okay, for example, if you see the same uh, recurrence relation, or the recurrence relation of a Fibonacci sequence, and in this, what is the highest subscript? It is a n. What is the lowest subscript? It is n minus two. What is the difference between the highest subscript and lowest subscript? And so n minus or n minus two, which we will get two. Means order of this recurrence relation representing this uh, Fibonacci sequence is two. Like this, we can able to say order of one recurrence relation. Okay, next, uh, what is a linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation? If you're having one recurrence relation in this form, let's uh, can observe here. C naught a n plus C one a n minus one plus C two a n minus two plus and so on. C k a n minus k is equal to f of n. That's function of n. And where uh, whatever we return uh, C naught, C one, C two, and so on. C k are constants, and this is an linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation of degree k. And we can call it as degree k 
will be well. Provided uh, the C note and C K not equal to zero. Okay, this one we call a uh, non-homogeneous linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Suppose here in this uh, linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation, if we are getting this f n is equal to zero, means uh, simply we are having a a recurrence relation like this c naught a n plus c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on c k a n minus k is equal to 0 if you have means without having function of n term we call it as a linear homogeneous recurrence relation okay if you see example here is the recurrence relation whatever we discussed at a as a recurrence, there's a recurrence relation for a Fibonacci sequence is linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree two. Anyway, this is of degree two already we discussed it. It is a linear homogeneous. Why? Because here in this recurrence relation, we can't find the what is the function of n term. Only n terms are there. That's why it is a homogeneous recurrence relation. And then coming to the next example, a n plus 2 into a n minus 1 is equal to a n two n plus 2. It is a linear non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Why? Because, and here, uh, we can find here function of n term separately apart from the a n terms. And that's why it is non-homogeneous recurrence relation. And what is the degree of this one? Less term. It is a difference between highest subscript and smallest subscript. Okay, what is the highest subscript? N. The smallest subscript is n minus one. That's why n minus of n minus one is one. That's why order of this, sorry, degree of this recurrence relation is one. Okay, this is about what is a, a degree of recurrence relation. What is a linear, homogeneous, and non-homogeneous recurrence relation. And after this, we have a, what is the solution of a recurrence relation? A solution of recurrence relation is nothing but as a sequence only. Sequence, uh, that sequence we have to tell by the general term. And that must satisfy the recurrence relation. Yes. Simply you can say, a solution of recurrence relation is a general term in the sequence A satisfies the recurrence relation. This is about what is a solution of recurrence relation. And we have a few methods to solve uh, this linear recurrence relation. So in that, uh, you can list that methods like this. If one is a substitution method, and there's one characteristic roots method, and then one is generating function. OK. Uh, these are the few methods we have. This is only I'm going to share. Okay. Thank you.